The number one killer is time. It destroys us all. This is what you need to know. Time broke. A growing fracture leading to the end of time. We went after a device that could fix it. Things turned ugly. Paul Stream was there to stop us. He has superpowers. Jack. Him and me both. We failed. Jack. And of course, time travel was involved. Jack. Going too fast for you? Okay. What do you want to cover first? You tell me. Let's start at the beginning. When you first arrived at Riverport University. I came back home to see my best friend, Paul Serene. He wanted to show me what he'd been working on. My brother, Will, was a scientist. He was also involved. Paul said it was world-changing. He was right. Riverport University. Here we are. Hey, thanks for the ride. No problem. You'd been away for six years. Paul and I had kept in touch, but, well, not so much. How did it make you feel? I was just happy to see Paul. Paul. Jack. You just got to the campus. Where are you? God, it's good to hear your voice. Uh, when you hit the courtyard, look right, you'll see this fancy modern physics building with the lights on. And I'll meet you inside there. I am so looking forward to this, man. You still haven't told me what this is. I know. See you soon. Why 4 a.m.? Why not wait till morning? Paul had always been a showman. Hey, it's Bobby Radford here on the tail end of the night shift. How you doing, Riverport? Come on, Amy, call it a night. There's nobody left. Protests seemed like a lost cause. Made me sympathize with the students. Paul had always been hungry for success. Driven. He made it onto a lot of those top young professionals lists. And now he was coordinating some huge project at the university. It's a big deal for him. You made a long trip just to see a research project? Well, reading between the lines, Paul was under a lot of pressure. <laughs> he needed a friend. I wanted to help him any way I could. Son of a bitch. Jack Joyce. In the flesh. The esteemed Mr. Paul Serene. I'm shaking money bags. Shut up and bring it in. <laughs> Welcome home. <sighs> Six years. Now we're starting to think you'd never come back. Yeah, me too. <laughs> come on. This way. We're going upstairs to the project lab. How was the flight? First class, thank you for that. It's a step up from our van trip to Utah. I missed that van. I'm guessing that Will's not meeting us. He doesn't know we're here. I knew Paul had asked my brother Will to consult on his project. Will was all the family I had, but he was difficult. There's more to this than you're letting on. Is it about my brother? I still worry about him, huh? If Will did something wrong, then- Jack, man. Look, I've been tight-lifted about this for a reason. This project we've been working on is going to change the entire world. Uh, why do I smell one of your long-winded presentations on the horizon? I would never. Oh, look. <laughs> a perfectly placed presentation to illustrate the project. Now, who put that there? <laughs> oh, shocking. Okay. 
Enough joking. The lab's this way, Jack. Come on. Come on, Jack. I am about to blow your mind. Come on, let's just get to the big show. <laughs> you haven't changed at all. Welcome to Project Promenade. Shit. You guys must have some budget. What is all this? The future, Jack. You are looking at the biggest discovery of our time. It's impressive, but Will's the scientist. What do you need me for? There's a reason we're doing this at 4 a.m., Jack. I need someone I can trust. I need you to help me convince Will. Yeah, I had a hunch. When your brother found out the scope of what we were building here, he... <laughs> Well, you know Will. Yeah. Hang on, I gotta get something from my desk. Will overreacted. Scared off the investors, ranting about miscalculations, dangers. All with no evidence. It works. But they're gonna cut our funding if I don't prove it. Jack, you know asking for her help is not easy for me. I am in deep trouble. You see, the tests I have to run here are not, strictly speaking, legal. You're the only one I can trust to help me with this. Whatever Will did, I want to make it right. I love my older brother, but he didn't make it easy. It's already essentially set up. Anyone can do it, but you're the one I want to do this with. Jack, thank you. I knew I could count on you. I need you to push the lever over there, labeled chronon conduit. That'll activate the core. I'm gonna run diagnostics and make sure it remains stable. We need to keep pushing forward, Jack. That's just the Cronon conduit initiating. Are you sure it's supposed to do that? Stable. What was that? The core replicates the effects of a rotating micro black hole, so activating it can be a bit intense. A black hole? What exactly are we testing here? You're about to find out. This way, we've got to raise the corridor. Just like old times, eh? Slightly illegal, moderately reckless. I'd raised some hell with Paul in the past. I could tell this was different. Still, I didn't understand how massive and far-reaching the consequences for this would be. How could I? I knew Paul. He played it cool, but I could tell he was nervous. It's happening. We're really doing this, Jack. It's gonna be amazing. Here, take this. You need this key to activate the corridor. We need to turn the keys at the same time to activate. Security precautions. Ready? 
It's like we're launching a nuke. Wait, we're not launching a nuke, right? One way to find out. Three, two, one. God damn, Paul. What is this? The corridor. The passenger enters one end, travels around the loop, exits the other, and arrives at the predetermined time in the physical location where the machine is situated in that time. Passenger? Wait, wait, wait. This is a corridor for... You're actually going inside that thing? In the machine, through time. I'm going to be the first, Jack. And you're my witness. This is crazy, Paul. I mean, this can't be safe. What happens when... Our team has already proved it works in the trial phase. It is ready. We've passed every test, every inspection. We're about to make history, Jack. All you have to do is hit that switch. Two minutes to the past. Remember this moment. Paul, <laughs> what? How? It's, <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. Stay calm, Jack. Stay calm. There's. There's two of you. You just fucking multiplied. This is exactly what was supposed to happen. That's... He's... He's me. A future version of me from two minutes in the future. <laughs> Your evil future self. We did it! Fucking incredible. I mean, just... Imagine the implications. We could warn people about disasters before they disasters happen. before they happen. Cure, cure diseases, diseases before they, they spread. spread. I just had this conversation. <laughs> Still sounds good second time. Jesus Christ. Now go into the machine. You need to complete the cycle. Yeah. Yes. Of course. Wait, Paul. What are you doing? It's all a big loop, Jack. I need to enter the machine and travel back to the moment I exited the machine in order to, well, be here. And what if you don't? There is no what if. I'm here, it's already happened. You saw it, Jack. We did it. Oh, that's impossible, that's, that's literally impossible. I mean, I can't even... There's no time to stop now. We need to test the other direction. Set the machine to five minutes to the future. I don't know about this, Paul. Soak this in, Jack. What we're doing... What are you doing? Oh, no. Jack. Will? You have to help me with this. We have to shut this thing down now. No, 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 no. Stop him! Shut up! Hold, hold on. The core. Hold, hold on. We can't shut it down. Paul's still in there. Will. Shut up! Look shut at me. up! Look at me! Put the gun down and we can talk, okay? No, there's no time. You're not thinking straight. Put the gun down. Jesus Christ, Will. Time is going to end. Jack, you have to trust me. For what?
okay? I think so. I'll find a way out. Make sure Will's okay. Yeah. Okay. I could hear Will's words in my head. Time is going to end. What the hell? This is crazy. Will! Will! She was right all this time. I warned Paul. This could all have been avoided. We're too late. Jack, your hands. Gotta keep moving. Move. That was the first time my power started to manifest. An out of control burst of energy that saved Will. Jack, your proximity to the pulse. It, it must have altered your relation to the chrono. Will. Field. What I just did back there. What the hell is happening? That's what I'm telling you. Not in the right language. Explosion make time go bad. If time is an egg, then that egg is fucking broken. The time egg is fucked. What? Why is there an egg in this? There's a fracture in time. It's breaking down, leading to the end of time and door. What? Locked. They cut my security clearance. <laughs> that didn't help. Stand back. I'll get it open. HQ. Securing the Will. server room. Over. More of them. Hide. They're coming. In here. I warned Paul about this. About the calculations. I tried to make you listen to me. By shoving a gun in my face? Yes, a gun. The universal symbol for shut the fuck up and listen to me. Sound logic is out. Shh. You... 
clear on this side. We sure he didn't head back up to the lab? He could have gone back and tried to take the surface elevator out of this. Doesn't make any sense. How? Orders are Why are you even here? That's your biggest concern right now? Paul brought me here to clean up your mess. My mess? Do you even... No context for any of this, Jack. You weren't here. A lot happens in six years. This is bigger than us. Can't make it personal. They're trying to kill us, Will. It's pretty goddamn personal. Listen, getting you involved is the last thing I wanted. I, I'm sorry. Right. is only going to get worse. We have to stop this before it's too late. How? First, we have to get to my car. You're better at the door thing. Will, get out! Oh, God! Target's armed! Opening fire! They're pinned down! Are you okay? I think so. Jack, that way. I know. This is way out of hand. I'd used a gun before. I'd been in a couple tough spots. Never had an army of pro gunmen chase me. Not good. This is not good. Wait. It's coming down. Hide! Not again. Come on, come on. There! Take him down! These guys are wearing one. One arc. What the hell one arc? You kill me! Time's acting up again. No surprise. We have to go. Raider team, have Jack and William Joyce been detained? Did you hear that? They know our names. They knew we'd be here. They must be after the machine. The elevator. It's the only way out. Jack, in here. We can't go to your car. Monarch could be expecting that. We have to, Jack. It's important. To fix the fracture. I... I need... We need to get to my car. Okay, just, just walk me through this, Will. Okay, time's broken. Fine. But now you're saying we could fix it? In theory, I built something for such an event years ago. But finding the countermeasure won't be easy. The countermeasure? What the... Okay... What happened? Maybe the door's still open. Let me try. Will? Oh, crap. 
frozen again. Somehow I could focus and unfreeze Will. Even if the world was what? still frozen. Stutter. She was right. About the fracture. About all of this. Where's your car? This way. Look at this. She's terrified. What are you doing? I'm gonna get her moving. She's not unfreezing. It worked on you. Why isn't it working on the others? I don't know. It may have to do with chronon exposure. Look at them all. It's a goddamn invasion. What are they doing? Why? They're taking everybody, every witness to what they've done. We can get to the parking lot through the lecture hall. You said you were prepared for this, that you knew it was going to happen. How? Beth Wilder. It's complicated. I'll explain in the car. Through this door. Okay, Will, calm down, okay? I'll take care of this. I'll, I'll fight my way through. I'll get the car and I'll bring it around. Are you sure you can handle this? No. Are you sure you can fix time? No. Then we'll call it even. Here, you'll need the keys. Hey, Jack, be careful. Yeah. Okay, I, I will. What the hell? My powers were growing. I started to sense things, premonitions, echoes from the past. Just got orders. Enemy spotted! Supposed to be in goddamn Thailand. see an echo of the past. Will, arriving at the university. I hope to God I'm not too late. That's... I'm seeing the past. Oh, shit! Something clicked. I could reach out 
and stop time in a focused Get area. You don't know what you're doing. Well. Fuck. Coming from where I left Will. I get back to him. Visual! the car. I need to get to Will. He's in trouble. Taking him to the library. You might still be able to catch them. Why are you helping me? You're with them. It's more complicated than. Look, I don't know if you can make it, but you should hurry. That's the first time you saw Beth Wilder. Yeah, but definitely not the first time she saw me. Will. Will! Supposed to take William Joyce alive if he doesn't put up a fight. Please, please, let me go. I can shut the hell up. But just shut the fuck up, all right? Boss said to take him to the library. Wants to deal with this. With this. Well. That's where they're taking you. You still had no idea that Wilder was helping you? She wasn't the only one. <sighs> Nothing. Lights are out across the whole damn campus. Somebody cut the power. Joyce! <laughs>
Okay, gotta get to the library. No time to lose. I gotta get to Will. to reach Will before it's too late. It's a library. I need to return some fucking books. HQ, we've got William Joyce in the library. Waiting orders. Over. Will. They took him to the library. I gotta find a way in. I gotta get to him fast. There's gotta be another way in. Where did that come from? Got William Joyce in the library. Awaiting orders. They got him. Over. I wonder where the Roger. brother is. There's a skeleton crew. Monarch action. Everybody else needs to reunite at the dry docks corner and extraction grounds. Wait for further orders there. <clears throat> library is set to blow in five minutes. Who is this guy? 
I got a whole new batch of messed up shit I need you to explain. Get me out of here first. We have to hurry. Where's my car? I didn't like the color. Let's get a new one. What? No, Jack. I need them. <clears throat> Hold that thought. <laughs> I'll take you shopping. It's a fucking briefcase. And you didn't think to spell that out to me before. Yeah, well, it's not too late to leave you here. Why are they still shooting? Said they wanted to take us alive. I think they changed their mind. Why are you staying alive? That's part of the messed up shit I need to explain. You got any theories about being able to manipulate time? We have to get to my briefcase. Then we find Beth Wilder. Why? Who is she? She knows about the fracture. I trust her. Glad you trusted somebody. It's not that simple, Jack. They kept secrets from you to keep you safe. Safe? Look around you, Will. Does this feel safe to you? This isn't my fault. Beth warned me this would happen. I did everything in my power to stop it. But you never told me any of this. I couldn't just... How long have you known? We don't have time for this now, Jack. We have to get to that briefcase. Let's move, before more of them show up. Jack! Paul? Jack, we gotta go. Hold on. What are you doing? Only what's necessary. Think about this. You don't know what's at stake. I know exactly what's at stake. That's why I'm here. You believe you can stop what's coming? I'm giving you one chance to change your mind. This path, it's already said it can't be changed. The past, the future, uh, uh, I've seen it. I've lived it for 17 years. 17 years? It was you, the first experiment. Come with me and we can see this through. Or hold on to your hope and burn with it. Now listen, I built a device. I can stop this. I can. You can't. This is madness. There's no harm in trying. There is. That's why I can't risk you opposing me, Will. It doesn't have to end like this. We can't just let this happen. I'll never stop trying. It took me years to come to terms with what must be done. But we don't have years. Wait, wait. Trigger. I never wanted this. 